Hello everyone, I'm Wang Xinghan from Peking University. Temporal action localization is a fundamental challenge in video understanding. The goal of temporal action localization is to precisely find the starting and ending time for each action instance and determine its category from an untrimmed video. Most existing action localization methods are based on fully supervision, requiring manually annotated temporal boundaries and action category label for each action instance. However, delimiting the temporal boundary of an action instance is time-consuming. The scarcity of instant level annotation has inspired recent works on weakly supervised action localization methods. Specifically, for every training video, only a video level action category is available. In this work, we propose an unsupervised temporal action localization task. In the unsupervised case, all we know regarding the training videos is the number of action categories in the video collection. We propose a two-step classroom plus localization iterative procedure to solve unsupervised action localization. Given an untrimmed video, we first divide it into a set of snippets, then extract two stream features for each snippet. Then we combine the class agnostic temporal attention and snippet level features to generate action-related features for each video. To get the video level pseudo label for each video, we utilize the spectral clustering algorithm on the training set to obtain a set of clusters. Each video can be assigned with a pseudo label according to the cluster it belongs to. Then the pseudo labels are used to train action localization model. Given the feature of an input video, we first use our proposed local global feature aggregation block to obtain an invariant feature. Then the network breaks into two branches, each composed of a convolution layer and a fully connected layer. The outputs of the two branches are the class agnostic attention weights and the class specific attention weights, respectively. Class agnostic and class specific attention weights are combined to predict action class for the video. Actions usually take place in a part of the untrimmed video. We design class-specific temporal attention to model the temporal distribution of different actions. In addition, class-specific temporal attention is used to generate and rank action-specific proposals. Class-specific attention is mainly supervised by action background separation loss. The design of this loss is based on two criteria, namely high inter-video action similarity and high intra-video action background distinctness. Since untrimmed videos usually contain irrelevant backgrounds, we design class agnostic temporal attention to distinguish background and foreground frames, to pull the feature representation of the same cluster closer and push the video features belonging to different clusters further in the feature space. We design cluster-based triplet loss to train the class agnostic crew attention model. The clustering step and the localization step are performed iteratively and reinforce each other. Our experiments show this iterative optimization process indeed gradually improves the performance of both steps. We evaluate our method on two large-scale benchmark datasets, Thimos and ActivityNet. We compare our method with other recent action localization methods. On both datasets, the result achieved by our method in the unsupervised case is comparable to the results obtained by other state of art weekly supervised methods. In weekly supervised case, our method outperforms the state of art weekly supervised method. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our iterative optimization method, we evaluate the clustering and action localization performance at each iteration. As the number of iterations increases, the performance of clustering is getting better. In addition, we visualize the affinity matrix used for spectral clustering at different iterations. It can be seen that with the help of the class agnostic temporal attention pooling method, the video representation is more discriminative. Since the quality of the pseudo labels improves with the number of iterations, our action localization model can learn more precise attention weights. So the performance of temporal action localization can be improved by a non-trivial margin. We also visualize action localization results of different iterations, and it can be seen that as the number of iterations increases, the action localization results are more precise. That's all for my talk. Thanks.